beautiful, sexy dirt squirrels. How are you? What is happening? What a beautiful city. I don't want to brag. I've been, I have been here a few times, and this is the first year I'm, I, I, I got in decent shape. And let me tell you, it is the worst. It's the worst getting healthy. It's no fun. You Look at you, Johnny, sexy man. You probably love it. For me, it's a nightmare because everything bad for you is fun. That's a fact. I was in Costco. I saw a man on a rascal scooter, a large man, just happy, buying ranch in bulk. You know what I'm talking about? Like, ranch dressing, like three of them, like, I'm gonna have a ranch bath later. <laughs> and then he took off and he made this sound. Whee! as he left, he, it was deeper, it was like But he had a great time. He was so much happier than I've ever been. Do you, do you know what I had for breakfast today? What I ordered while I was out with friends? I had yogurt. <laughs> yogurt! Do you know how horrible yogurt is? Pretending that you're happy you ordered yogurt while they eat bacon and eggs? No, this is really what I wanted to eat. I didn't want that, I wanted this, because it's so good. <laughs> Mmm, sour bacteria-filled milk. Mwah, what is it, my birthday? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Yogurt's disgusting. There's no way that comes from a cow. That comes from a witch's tit, for sure. <laughs> That's where yogurt comes. All the yogurt, she comes out of the back like... <laughs> and opens her robe, and she's got long, noodly witch tits. Right? No bra, just a wool sock over it that she pulls off. I said Greek yogurt. My mistake, Tina. <laughs> yogurt. <laughs> it's disgusting. People always try to pretend that getting healthy is fun. No, it's not. Oh, climbing a mountain's the best you'll ever feel. Nope. <laughs> I feel probably just as good watching someone climb a mountain on YouTube as I eat three tacos and wear no pants. <laughs> That's a win. People. They tell you their diets with cold, dead eyes and pretend they're happy. Oh, you have to try my diet. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm on this great new diet where you fast for four hours and then you eat a scoop of graveyard soil <laughs> and then you go in a closet and weep and scream. <laughs> no, you need to do the paleo diet. That's where you eat like a caveman. All the time, so you get healthy, eating like a caveman. Those people who all fucking died at 20, you idiot. <laughs> I tried going vegetarian. I tried. It didn't take. I want to. I, I, I think vegetarians are right. I've never had a vegetarian meal and felt bad after eating it. I'm like, oh, I have a spring in my step. <laughs> have a meat meal, have like sausage with bacon wrapped around it. Go to one of those insane food carts you have, where it's like, oh, this is a foie gras burger that we put in a bazooka and shoot up your asshole. <laughs> it's disgusting. I can't, I, I wanna not eat meat. I love animals so much. I love my dog way more than most people. But I know in my heart, I would eat him. I know this. <laughs> Like, if the apocalypse happens and the lights go out, I'm eating. I rub his belly, he pulls up his paws, they look like little chicken wings. Mwah, I'm eating them. <laughs> know thyself. How do you compete with certain meat? Like, bacon is so amazing. How do you compete with that? Bacon is pure fat and salt. You could give bacon to a pig, and the pig would be like, I get it. That's how good. <laughs> I'm trying to eat better because I want to live to a ripe old age. I want to. Old people, I love old people. Like, when I say old people, I mean people who make this noise. <laughs> like that noise. <laughs> like where they're old and if they kind of rub together too quickly, they'll burst into flames. I love, I want to be that. And they all have tips on how they've lived so long. They, I have one relative, she'll eat half a donut mm, and be like, I'm going to finish that tomorrow. <laughs> what, why? Oh, that's the secret to living longer. You eat half the donut and you save it so you got something to look forward to tomorrow. <laughs> Bullshit! <laughs> the Grim Reaper isn't showing up like, I have come for you tonight. Tonight is the, oh, I'm sorry, you have half a donut? <laughs> I will come back. <laughs> 
I read this uh, about the world's oldest man. He was 113 years old. He lived in a small village. The second oldest man in the world was 112, and he lived in the same village. <laughs> How much would that drive you bananas to make it to 112 and not even be the oldest person in your village? <laughs> That would drive you crazy. It's my birthday. Yeah, but Jerry's older. Ah, oh, fuck Jerry. <laughs> Are you kidding? He had a stroke 40 years ago. I'm still dancing. Where's my cupcake? <laughs> if that's me, I'm killing Jerry. He's a dead man. I'm getting that title. What are they gonna do? Lock me up for my last month? Fuck him. He's dying. You know how easy it is to kill a 113 year old? You can just walk up and go <coughs> in his face. <laughs> dead. <laughs> Give him a paper cut. It won't close. That's how easy. <laughs> You could literally give him a present that surprises him too much. <laughs> I got this for you. Oh, what is this? I've never seen one of these before. Well. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> what a nice song. I wonder how this is gonna end. <laughs> I'm gonna finish that tomorrow. <laughs> Montreal is always a treat to come perform for you guys.